all right hey guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to quickly get this style i just kind of came up with it it's not exactly what i wanted but i will tell you why in the video but i think it came out really cute it's been a minute since i've done any braids or any crochet or anything like that on my channel you guys and i am itching to get back into it so this style was definitely made for back to school for you to do at home on your head mamas or teachers or principals something very easy on trend and cute but i also feel like depending on the length you go this can be a style for students as well so yeah you guys i'm not gonna keep blabbing about it if you're interested in how i got this super easy quick jumbo box braid shoulder length i don't know you guys style then just keep on watching Alright you guys, let's jump right into it. So I'm starting off with blow dried hair. I have absolutely no product in my hair um, and I'm just going to start parting. So yeah, you guys already know I struggle with parting. If you don't know, hello, this is not a perfect parting kind of channel. So I went on ahead off camera and did my hair into the best sections as possible and ate me some lunch. I will typically ask my husband to help me with parting, especially when it comes to the back, but he had been out of town for almost two weeks. So I will say parting was the most time consuming part out of this entire style. So I'm going in with adding some gel, you guys. Make sure you are adding gel in between each section, not just around the perimeter of the braid. So I'm just taking my big chunky section, swooping my edges back exactly or as close to how I want them to lay. And then I'm gonna braid, it's just a braid the crochet method i'm just gonna braid about an inch uh, maybe two at some braids i don't know just braid down and then finish twisting the rest um, because i knew i wasn't gonna finish my hair um, this particular day and i didn't want it to be all tangled so that's what i'm gonna be doing throughout my entire head the product i'm using here so the reason why i don't have any product in my head especially around my edges right now is because the gel i feel like will sometimes slide it won't hold as well and I use the gummy hair gel and I absolutely love it for braiding you guys it doesn't leave any kind of white cast it's perfect and it's gentle and it's still like it doesn't dry my hair out either so I've done these two sections I'm just gonna twist them down a bit and pull them back to stop my hair from reverting because y'all this 4b4c hair will revert at the drop of any kind of moisture or humidity or product and don't y'all be laughing at my parts don't don't do it not today <laughs> so the link for this hair is going to be in the description box you guys i've had this hair for over a year now and i've used this company twice and i like their hair so i will find it and i will put it down below in the description box i did not use a whole lot of it I can't remember off the top of my head how many bundles per like order they give you. However, um, once you get the bundles, I got about uh, five um, pieces. So five braids, that's what I wanna say. Five braids per bundle, if I hope that makes sense. I crocheted in two pieces per braid and I'm just gonna braid down. I do prefer braiding under versus going over, but this braid, I think I'm going over, you guys, I don't really pay too much attention, but this is the part where I wanted to talk to you guys about. So once I braided um, basically the length of my hair and then I added on maybe another inch or two, um, I rubber banded. it. So this is how I'm looking after I've rubber band everything, you guys. I wanted this look to be a lot shorter, but I would have to ha cut off my hair. So that was not happening. So at this point, I was pretty nervous about cutting this hair and making these braids like keeping the rubber band on making them very blunt cuts i was like oh my gosh what am i doing but i was like you know what i don't like it i could take it out very simple y'all know me um so yeah so after i went on ahead and cut the excess hair off made my braids nice and blunt I'm just adding in some crochet pieces. So my vision for this look was actually using like what I'm, the pieces that I'm crocheting in now was a looser texture. So more like a wave versus this like really tight um, kind of, um, you know, curl or whatever you want to call it. I wanted something a little looser, but this is all that I had. So I just used what I had and actually it worked in my favor because 
I felt like it added a little bit, of course, volume, but it helped to hide my um, my parting job that I did because I did not do very well in the back. It's obvious, but it is what it is, if you guys get what I'm saying. So this kind of camouflaged um, my parting a bit. And I will point out the loose hair here, you will have to, depending on how long you wanna keep your braids in, you might have to take these pieces out and crochet them back in, you guys, but that's not a big deal. You can take all these loose strands out because depending on if you're working out if you keep messing with your hair you keep doing different styles it's gonna get tangled it's just it just is what it is but it's not a big deal i'm telling you you can just cut these little pieces out throughout your head take a few more and then you've got some fresh you know little curlies going on um so just keep that in mind so yeah, so I really like this style, you guys, and I think it's definitely a go-to, especially for my teachers or my mamas, or you know, if you had daughters here to do, you don't have the money out here to be paying all these, all this cash, all these coins that these so-called hairstylists are charging is absolutely ridiculous. Like paying six, seven, eight thousand, twelve hundred dollars for braids. No, just do it at home because the reality is you may not think what you're doing is great, you may not like the outcome. But people are gonna talk about you whether you spend the thousand dollars on getting your braids done or you do your hair at home. It really doesn't matter. So why not save a little bit of money if you can? And of course, if you want to, but just going out to the people who don't have the cash to spend, you can really do your hair at home. And the more you practice, the more styles you do, especially on your girls or whoever needs your help and even on yourself, the better you will become. So for my edges, you guys, I'm using a little bit of the gummy edge control and then I'm topping it off with my Goldwell Blue Lagoon Jam. I will put those linked down below. They are my absolute holy grails, especially for that Blue Lagoon Jam, especially for the summertime, going on vacation, it's humid, it's hot, you will absolutely need it and love it. Um, so I'm just using those two products here, gonna do some swoops. Also, I don't really pull out a lot of my hairline. I know that's the trend right now. I get it, it'd be cute on some of y'all, but I can't do it. One, because my 4C little hair will just curl back on up. I'm not about to flat iron my edges, it's not happening. It's taking me way too much effort to grow these suckers back. Um, and to me, I feel like a whole bunch of, you know, edges, it actually ends up, what's the word? Um, it's only cute for so long until you can't do it again, until you can't mimic what your stylist is. So you kind of don't even get to wear that style very long because the edges with some of these braid looks, it kind of makes the look. You guys get what I'm trying to say? So anyways, I just prefer not to pull that many out because over time, they're gonna come out on their own anyways. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this look, you guys. I'm just adding some mousse and that's it. So I hope you like this style. I will be back with a whole lot more, you guys. I love doing this. It was very relaxing for me. I forgot how much I love doing crochets and braids and all that kind of stuff. So I will be bringing that to you um, this fall and of course some new back to school styles as well. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, comment below if you have any questions or whatever, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.